In the shadows of global power, where influence meets secrecy, lies a family whose name resonates with danger and mystery. Welcome to our exploration of one of the most intriguing and powerful families on the global stage, often referred to as the most dangerous families in the world. This documentary-style presentation delves into their extensive influence in politics, finance, and international relations. Through a combination of expert interviews, historical data, and careful analysis, we aim to uncover how this family has shaped global events and the implications of their actions. Stay tuned to find out who makes the list and why they are considered a threat to public safety. Join the Crime Chronicles as we delve into the story behind the headlines, seeking answers in the aftermath of a night that changed everything. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Fred and Rose The story of Fred and Rose West involves the investigation into a series of crimes that occurred in Gloucester, England during the 1970s and 1980s. This couple became notorious for their deeply disturbing actions, which were carried out at their residence, famously known as the House of Horrors. Their criminal activities mainly included severe and unthinkable acts against young individuals, tragically including members of their own family. Fred West was born in 1941 and encountered Rosemary Letts, born in 1953, when she was a teenager. They married in 1972, setting the stage for the crimes that would later shock the nation. The couple's home in Gloucester became a focal point of investigation in 1994 when authorities uncovered multiple victims' remains on the property. This discovery initiated a broader investigation, revealing the extent of their crimes, including the murder of their daughter, Heather West. The case culminated in 1995 when Fred West ended his own life prior to his trial, while Rose West was convicted of multiple murders and sentenced to life imprisonment. The aftermath of this case left a permanent mark on the local community and raised numerous questions about the factors contributing to such heinous acts. The events serve as a grim reminder of the importance of vigilance and community awareness in preventing such tragedies. The Cray twins, Ronnie and Reggie, were born in East London. They established themselves as two of the most notorious criminals in British history. Their criminal activities spanned from armed robberies to arson, but they are most well known for their brutal enforcement tactics in their role as the leaders of the firm. The Crays were paradoxically considered celebrities in their own right, often rubbing shoulders with prominent figures from the entertainment and political spheres at their nightclub Esmeralda's Barn. Their charm and connections allowed them to cultivate a public image that somewhat masked their ruthless operations. The twins' reign of terror continued largely unchecked, due to their network of informants and their ability to intimidate witnesses. However, their empire began to crumble after a series of violent incidents, including the murders of George Cornell and Jack the Hat McVitie, which they personally orchestrated. These acts of violence brought increased police scrutiny. In 1968, Detective Leonard Nipper Reed of Scotland Yard finally succeeded in his long-running effort to bring down the craze. They were arrested and subsequently convicted in 1969, primarily based on the testimonies of former gang members turned informants. Ronnie and Reggie Cray were both sentenced to life imprisonment, effectively ending their reign over London's criminal underworld. Ronnie died in 1995, and Reggie followed in 2000, but their legacy continues to fascinate and appall in equal measure. Inessa Tarverdieva and family her family were involved in a crime that operated in Russia from 2007 to 2013. The family, often referred to as a gangster family, included Inessa, her husband Roman Podkopayev, and her two daughters, Victoria and Anastasia. This family of criminals led a double life, posing as ordinary citizens while committing a series of ruthless crimes across the Russian regions of Stavropol and Rostov. The Tarverdieva family's criminal activities included a series of burglaries, armed robberies, and the brutal murders of at least 30 people, according to police reports. Their victims varied widely, from police officers to shop owners, which instilled widespread fear in the communities they targeted. Their operations were marked by extreme crime and meticulous planning, enabling them to evade capture for several years. Inessa, 
a former nursery school teacher, was reported to be the leader of the group, orchestrating their criminal activities with a cold precision that shocked law enforcement and the public alike. The family was heavily armed, and their home was found to contain a large arsenal of weapons and items typically used in crimes. Their crime spree came to an end in 2013 when police finally apprehended the family after a shootout. The subsequent trial revealed the chilling extent of their crimes and the dual lives they led. The case of the Taverdieva family remains one of the most chilling examples of familial criminal enterprises in recent history, highlighting the unpredictable nature of crime and the challenges faced by law enforcement in tracking and apprehending such criminal groups. The Bloody Benders Family This family known as the Benders lived in a remote cabin in Labette County, Kansas, which was on a common route for travelers. This cabin appeared to be a typical rest stop along the Great Osage Trail, but the Benders had sinister plans. The Bender family, made up of John Bender, his wife, and their two children, set up a deadly trap in their home. They would offer meals to travelers, seating them at a specially arranged table. Unbeknownst to the guests, one of the Benders would hide behind a curtain near the table and strike the unsuspecting visitor with a sledgehammer. The number of people who fell victim to the Benders is not exactly known, but it is believed to be around a dozen. The reasons behind these brutal acts are unclear, with theories ranging from robbery to sheer malevolence. Eventually, local townspeople grew suspicious of the Bender family, prompting an investigation. By the time authorities arrived to probe deeper, the Benders had disappeared, leaving behind their notorious cabin. Years later, Another family moved into the same cabin, and reports of similar violent incidents began to surface, fueling rumors of a curse. The truth behind these tales adds to the dark legacy of the Bloody Benders. That was all for today's video. You can share with us your views in the comment section, and if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Thank you for watching the video. Best of luck and goodbye.